Hi everyone, welcome to Mila. I'm Vicki Robb and today we're going to learn how to make a no-knead bread. Everyone loves eating fresh baked bread, but it can be very time consuming. There's techniques you need to learn and it's intimidating. So we went to our friends at Le Creuset. They are famous for having a no-knead bread recipe that you can make in a Dutch oven. So that's what we're gonna learn today, their recipe in our oven. To get started, we need some basic bread ingredients. So we have bread flour. We chose to use bread flour, but you could use all purpose. We have instant yeast, some regular table salt, a little new ingredient, which is some apple cider vinegar, and then of course water. So we're just gonna start by putting in our instant yeast and our salt, and we're gonna whisk them together just to make sure everything is incorporated throughout the flour. This recipe is so easy. You don't need a stand mixer or anything special. Then we're going to take our apple cider vinegar and we're going to add it to our water. And we can just kind of mix that up a little bit and make a well in our flour. So just make a little hole in the middle and then we're gonna add our water. We added all of our water, so I'm just gonna use a spatula to start incorporating the flour into the water and the vinegar. And it doesn't take long, just a few minutes. So we'll just keep rotating the bowl is probably the easiest way to do it. And then I am going to eventually switch to using my hands because it starts sticking to the spatula. So that's why I find after a while you don't wanna lose any of the flour. So I'm just gonna scrape it off there. Just take your hands, kinda of mix it in. Make sure that you have all that uh, flour from the bottom of the bowl. You don't want a big clump of flour in the bottom. So once I have this all mixed up, you're going to see it's kind of a shaggy, that's what the recipe calls a shaggy texture. It's not your usual really smooth bread texture, bread dough texture, but that's normal. This is what it should look like. So once I get all that flour from the bottom of the bowl, I'm just going to take some saran wrap and tightly cover this bowl. And we are going to let it sit for 12 to 18 hours on the countertop. Nothing special that you need to do except for clean off your fingers and whoop, get our saran. Cover it. And now we wait for our 12 to 18 hours. We're back. Our dough has been resting for 14 hours. You have a window of 12 to 18 hours that's recommended on the recipe. So we decided to go with about 14, just so the timing worked out right. So look how beautifully the dough rose in that amount of time. Just that gluten forming and it's gonna give a really great bread. So what we wanna do, I'm gonna loosen the dough up a little bit in the bowl, put some flour on the counter and probably some of my hands. It's not too sticky, but, and what we're gonna do is fold the dough over itself. It's a really traditional way of not so kneading the dough like people are used to, but you just take the top like an envelope and you turn it just a couple turns. That helps you to start getting that bread shape. So then I'm gonna flip it over and now what I need to do is take the palms of my hands and roll it against the counter using the palms of my hand. And that's where we're gonna get that really nice shape for the dough, the bread shape. So see, I'm just holding my hands at the palm and scraping it against the counter and it's making a perfect little loaf. And there we go. So now all we need to do is add some oil to the bottom of our Dutch oven, just a little bit. I'm gonna spread it around. You wanna make sure that it doesn't stick as it's baking. There we go. I'm going to take my dough carefully and put it in the bottom of the Dutch oven and we're going to cover it for another one to two hours and then it's time to put it in the oven. 
So we need to preheat our oven up to 450 degrees, about 30 minutes before we are ready to bake the bread. So I'm gonna go into our operating modes on my 30 inch oven. You could use the combi steam oven, you could use a speed oven, or you could use your 30 inch oven. On the 30 inch oven, I'm going to use surround at 450 degrees. So go to operating modes, surround, and select 450 degrees. If you choose to use a combi steam oven, you wanna go up to 435 degrees on surround and in your speed oven, 450 degrees as well. I chose surround because we're using a covered Dutch oven and that will be the perfect gentle heat to make sure we get nice steam inside the Dutch oven. All right, we'll come back in about 30 minutes and get our bread into baking. Our bread dough has been resting in the pot for an hour and a half. We decided to cut it right down the middle. You could go as low as an hour or wait the full two hours. So one final step before it goes into the oven is to score the top of the dough. We happen to have a lame that we'll be using. It's just a sharp blade. If you don't have one, you can use any sharp kitchen knife that you have. So we have it just resting in the pot covered. I'm gonna do some quick slashes. And what that's going to do is to help the air escape from the bread and give it a nice finished look on the top with those crusty pieces that everybody grabs for. So now that we've scored it, I'm going to cover it. Our oven, again, is preheated to 450 degrees and we're gonna set the timer for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we'll come back and take the cover off to finish baking it. So our timer went off, so we need to do two things. We need to take the lid off and we need to lower the temperature to 350 degrees. So let's go ahead and do that. Just carefully take off the lid with oven mitts and it's looking nice already. So close the door. So just go back and hit the change button. We're gonna stay in surround and I'm gonna change my temperature to 350 degrees, three, five, zero, okay. And now I wanna set a second timer for 20 minutes. We could always um, even set it for 10 and keep checking it, but I'm feeling pretty confident about 20. Okay, so in 20 minutes, we'll come back. Hopefully our bread will be finished. If not, we'll add more time. So let's check on it in 20 minutes. Our bread is finally done baking. The 20 minutes was perfect, just uh, as I expected. So let's take it out of the oven and I'll show you. You would have no idea that we had that shaggy looking dough. It absolutely looks perfect. Let me see if I can use a mitt here and just pop it out. There we have our perfect little loaf of bread. It ha couldn't have been any easier. I'm so excited to dig into it, but everybody knows you really do need to wait. So we're going to let it sit for probably an hour and then we'll come back and we'll show you what the inside looks like. The bread has been resting for 30 minutes. I know I may have said an hour, but we just couldn't do it. We have to dig into this bread, but I can't end this video without you seeing the inside. And it's so crusty. You really do want a nice bread knife uh, to cut into it. You can even see it's just flying all over the place. So I'm gonna just make sure I get all the way through to the bottom. There's still a little steam coming out. Just ready for some butter, some olive oil. You could even make a sandwich with it. And it just looks delicious. So this is Le Creuset's No Need bread recipe in their Dutch oven and paired with a Miele oven. It's just a perfect match. So enjoy.